Hello snowboarders of the internet, I am your host TC and today I will be reviewing the Jones Tweaker Pro. This board is equipped with Jones Snowboard's True Camber Profile, so what that is, is that's camber from the nose contact point all the way to the tail contact point. And what that is, is that's just going to be a lot of camber in this board. It's going to be really aggressive. So what that's going to do is that's going to give you all of that drive, pop, and stability that you're looking for to get out of just a classic cambered snowboard. This board comes in a 146, a 149, 151, 154, 156, 157 wide, and a 159. I rode this board at Arapahoe Basin where it was the flattest light that I had ever seen. You couldn't tell the difference from the sky to the ground, and as you went up the mountain, it just got worse. Once we got up to the top, we were pretty much just riding off a of field. It was felt like you were riding on braille where you're like, I don't know what the heck is going on right now. You could close your eyes and you're still in the same boat as if you kept them open. Later in the day, the sun did try to poke out. It was unsuccessful for the most part. It did get a little bit better visibility, but still it was pretty much a crapshoot all day. I used my Ride Fuse boots and Jones Mercury bindings. When we're talking overall flex on this board, it does have a nice fluid flex. Even though there is a milled core in this, there's so much camber, as you could probably even see from this video, that it almost negates that fact. When you're going to foot steer this thing, it feels just as stiff. You're gonna be putting more effort into it for sure. The nose and the tail are definitely gonna have that spring to them where they don't really want to flex all that much. That being said, it doesn't feel quite like a plank or anything like that. You can still flex into this board, but it is on the stiffer side. Now, when we talk stability, it is a stable board. It's even more stable than the regular tweaker, which I didn't know was possible really for a park board, but it is. This thing holds an edge really well. And honestly, when you're just hauling through those less than ideal conditions, when you can't see anything under you, it just cruises right through it. Even in those mogul fields and all of that crud, it just pushes right through it and you can keep your speed really nicely. It is gonna be more damp than the regular tweaker. There is that choroid in the nose and the tail, which definitely helps cut down on vibrations, but it also gives it a little bit of a lively sound where it does have kind of a weird sound when you're riding over hard stuff, like instead of that wood sound to it. When you load this thing up to Ollie, it might take a little bit more effort, but it is gonna deliver that with a huge snap to it. This thing, that full camber with how aggressive that camber is, when you lean back, you're gonna wanna exaggerate that motion a little bit more, but it's gonna return that. And it does land really well, so when you do get launched 10, 20 feet in the air off of jump, you're gonna have that landing gear. It is nice and stable, you could put it flat, you could put it on edge to have a nice S turn into your next jump, but it's gonna do it for you where you overspin or anything like that, you can still set your edge down and stop that rotation. Also, when you're taking off, if you're going to spin, when you load up that edge, it's gonna hold. Because there is no rocker in the tail or the nose, it doesn't feel washy or anything like that. If it is in your wheelhouse, I would say take it to the big jumps, but if it's not, it's just as at home on the medium line. Remember to like, subscribe, click that bell, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our scheduled programming. When I was buttering on this board, it definitely put up a fight. Because of how aggressive that camber is, mixed with the no rocker on the nose or the tail, it's gonna fight you the whole way. I had to throw my whole weight behind this thing and really find that sweet spot pretty much at the logo on both ends of this board. Now, when you do that, expect a pop out on it because it's gonna have a, all that energy stored up and it feels pretty much the same when you're on a rail. It's gonna kind of fight you on those tail presses, those nose presses, that sort of thing. I would recommend coming in with quite a bit more speed. It just handles at better at high speeds when you're approaching a feature. When you're board sliding it, it feels just fine. That board slide does hold right in the middle of the board, so I didn't really have a problem with it trying to go from one side to the other. As long as your weight's in the middle, this thing wants to sit right in the middle with you. This board carves extremely hard, so be on your A game when you're riding this thing because you're gonna need it. Just because of all of that full aggressive camber in it, there's no runs to be taken off on this thing. 
from those short carves where it just gets edge to edge extremely fast to those medium and larger carves when you can really open it up and not feel a top speed. Now the only time I was really able to do that is when that sun poked out just a little bit but even when I was just riding by feel I could still make those medium carves with no problem without getting bounced around too much or anything like that. It will euro carve no problem so just feel free to keep that weight centered and just feel free to throw that elbow down and you'll be good to go rider in mind this board is designed for somebody competing at a higher level in slope style honestly where you got to go fast you want to come into those features really fast and keep your speed throughout where you need a nice quick base something nice and stable and something that's going to hold an edge in variable conditions for you which this board will if you're looking for another way to get involved, head on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. Sure, I could explain it here, but we have a great video over there getting into it really in depth. I really enjoyed this board. I kind of knew what to expect after I just rode the regular tweaker where that one caught me off guard. This one didn't catch me off guard quite as much, but I did come into it knowing it was going to be aggressive and it carves extremely well. Super fun in the park. I could honestly see this being a great pipe board as well, but a basin doesn't have one, so we're shit out of luck on that. But overall, it's a great board. It can be ridden all mountain or park. It definitely excels in the park, but I wouldn't be too scared to take this thing pretty much anywhere on the mountain and you're gonna be fine. Comparable boards, the Ride Burnout, the Nitro Beast, and the Signal Disruptor. Recommended bindings, the Jones Mercury, the Ride C8, and the Union Atlas. I've been your host TC and this has been my review for the Jones Tweaker Pro. If this doesn't sound like the beefy park board for you, why don't you go check out one of the videos for the comparable boards.